If you wish to encourage students to work on creating their own resources together, resulting in a portfolio of group work, then creating a collaboration channel in Teams will provide the space for students to work with more freedom. To add an additional channel, press the three dots next to the class team name and add a channel. In here you can name your channel and give it a brief description to let students know what it's for. Make sure you tick the box at the bottom so everybody can see it. You may wish to create a folder with the key resources or to post them into the channel chat. Individual group subfolders can then be managed by you and the students themselves where they can drop in and collaborate with one another. You can monitor and supervise using the Teams interface. The only disadvantage here being is that students from different groups will be able to view and edit the files and folders of other groups. To keep your separate groups from being able to view or edit the work of another group, you would therefore need to create private channels. So now when we create the channel, we can name it for an individual group. And then at the bottom, we can use the drop down to create a private channel. In a private channel, only the teacher and the selected students can view the work, edit the files and communicate using the posts area. Being private, however, comes with a warning. If the teacher who created a private channel were to leave the team, the private channels would remain. As a member of staff is removed from teams, the channels they created are then rendered impossible to remove by a new staff member. Not only does this mean your class team has immovable private groups, but the students are still free to access these without being monitored by a member of staff. Think of it as leaving a classroom unattended and not being able to get back in. So when we create new channels within a class team, we're effectively creating a space in SharePoint where all of the students can work together. This can teach them important skills like collaborating on files, renaming and organising their resources together as a group.